peekaboo. All right, guys, check it out. I went out west. A little bit scary. Not overly so. So check it out. God was good. I got blessed. I got tired of the monotony. Uh, I know the best business decision is going to be Midwest. And where I live is going to be Midwest, Southeast, back and forth. Uh, if you don't care to go to the Northeast and get trapped for a little bit, make all kinds of money up there. You're going to give a lot of it to the... Uh, there's somebody in a Porsche thinks they're cool driving through the truck side. That's pretty smart. Anyway, I'm in Pueblo, Colorado. I'm starting another reset. It's Sunday night. Mountain time at 23.03. And here's what's happening. There's all my loads from last week, and I uh, started in Navarro, Ohio when I left the house, ended up in Midvale, Utah. It's a lot of loads, and it's a good bit of coin. A couple things you need to look out for if you come out here and do this. Always run your trips through your GPS, GPS or your uh, Google Maps something, PC Miler, whatever you use. Run it, because their miles are going to be off. There was a lot more deadhead on this guy. Uh, I don't remember what the reason was that for that, but that's not because uh, of how far off Schneider's dead head was. That was me doing, I don't remember what I had to do. I did something, and it was also the, the days didn't line up, and I screwed up on, uh, on getting my miles. But anyway, so it was 3698.9, 523.9 gallons of fuel. This is off the dash. Oh, that's what I did. <clears throat> I reset my dash by accident. Uh, holding the wheel wrong or whatever, I guess. So I had to do some math, figure it out. So my math's probably boogered up, but worst case, I went with worst case scenario. So it's dollar eighty-two per mile average, seven point zero six miles per gallon. So not the best week, not awful either. <laughs> kind of in between noob and uh, I wouldn't say mastery, but somebody knows what the heck they're doing. Here's all my fuel for the week, <laughs> all my expenses. Combine the expenses and the fuel, it's $2,623.70 for all them miles and all that uh, driving. That's $6,714.31 gross to the truck. After my expenses, it's $4,090.61. Like I said, not the most efficient way to spend a week. And yes, you get tired driving. But if I'm not home, I sleep because I have to legally. And, you know, I get tired. I cook in a truck 90% of the time. And I'm driving. I don't let no grass grow under this thing. It's always moving. That's why I'm getting it, okay? When I ain't trying to save the truck. I'm trying to save me some money and continue on expanding. So after I withhold my 30%, which is tax monies uh, and, you know, rainy day fund, because a lot of it's going to be right off, so it's going to be money the business has, that's twenty eight sixty three forty three to the house if we need it. So doesn't mean we spend all that. That's just what if we need it. Mind you, I don't have health insurance, blah, blah, blah. This is this week. Uh, so I left Salt Lake City, went to Centralia, Washington, Columbia River Gorge, one of the best drives in the country. If you disagree, we can't be friends. It's gorgeous, okay? If you get a chance to 84 all the way to 5, do it. Um, I came back from Centralia down to Portland, and it is not burning. I swear it's not. Uh, but the hoodlums apparently try to burn down the courthouse and the town hall every night. They're probably not even from there. But I wasn't harassed or molested in any way. So don't be worried about it. Uh, delivered back in Ogden, Utah. I'm going to piss off a couple of these guys who have mentored me. I might not make them mad, but they're going to think it's stupid. I deadheaded 600 and some miles to go to California. Fontana, 30 miles from L.A. You can see the smog for three hours heading down there that morning. Um, I spent the night in Barstow, went to Fontana the next morning, picked up, and headed back to Pueblo, Colorado. Delivered this evening. That's $5,662.14 gross to the truck. 3,357 miles is $1.69 a mile average for everything. Not correct. Ran the numbers again, even with all that deadhead to Fontana. 3097 was the actual miles on the hub to this point Sunday night. It's 414.6 gallons of fuel burned. That's a dollar eighty-three a mile average for the week. Better than last week. Excuse me. No, it's not better than last week. Messed up. But it's better fuel mileage too. 7.47. Light loads, except for the one coming out of Fontana. That was 32. <clears throat> and I had to do a little bit of climbing to get out of Cali and a couple of 
tiny little places here in uh, Pueblo, Colorado. But you know, you're steadily climbing and coming down. You know, two or three percent grade all the way up and down. You know, all the way through here. So everything equals out. Uh, and I've been running 75. Uh, all, both weeks once I hit Nebraska it was WFO why do you know what open uh, here's all the fuel for the week as you can see you combine all my expenses it was 23.63.25 out of that 56.62.14 that's 32.98.89 to the house after the taxes it's 23.09.22 so you guys can see, even in the West, even with all that deadhead to Fontana, we done pretty good. I can't complain. I can't complain. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to goof off because I guess I can be a bouncing ball. So, guys, God's been good. I got to come out West. I haven't done it in years. Look at that. That's just south of Trinidad on 25. I took that today at a turnout. It's gorgeous. God's good and God's creative. So anyway, there's some more numbers for a West Coast week for old Grego here. So keep it between the lines and keep the right side up. God bless. We'll see you guys in a few.